In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn this Overture Orange ABS into a nice fake bake light for your 3D printed parts. So without a proper intro, welcome to the video. This is my first video on this YouTube channel. Uh, if you're coming from the Discord, welcome. If you're coming from my Twitter, welcome. Or if the YouTube algorithm somehow recommends this video, welcome. And let's get right into this. What you're going to be needing for this project is ABS filament, some duct tape, a piece of wire that fell on the floor, so any nichrome wire will work. You're also going to be needing 100% acetone, some paint brushes. Um, make sure to get not too big of ones, um, just normal paint brushes will do. You're going to be needing some wood stain. I like to use this Rust Oleum Black Cherry wood stain. You're going to be also needing a good clear coat and a polypropylene container. And most importantly, you're going to be needing a reference ferret. This is a crucial step not to disturb the particle accelerator. On your container, one way to tell if it's polypropylene is if it has this symbol on it, the PP. And also, uh, it's somewhere on here, but the lid has to be uh, polypropylene as well. Hopping over to Cura, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to print on a raft. Oh, fr first thing I should mention, change your material to ABS. I like to do the generic ABS, like that. And then for this demonstration, we're going to be printing with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Uh, quality, what I like to print at is 0.16, and then my initial layer height is 0.28. That seems to give me the best results. Uh, for walls, you can do whatever you want. Uh, typically, I do two, and um, these settings just leave it how, however you print. Um, infill, I like to do 99% at either a zigzag or um, gyroid infill pattern. That seems to give me good results as well. All right, so this is important. So material, what I like to print at is 245, but you can print hotter. I don't typically go below 245 degrees. Uh, 245 degrees gives me good um, layer adhesion and also it gives me good strength. Uh, for the bed build plate, I would like to print at uh, 80 to 100 C. For this demonstration, I printed at 80 C and it seemed to stick just fine. Uh, speed doesn't really matter too much. I like to print at 60 millimeters a second. Um, travel. Uh, enable retraction and retract a layer change. Those work very well. Um, make sure to uh, click Z hop when retracted. That works too. Cooling, turn that off. Um, any cooling will result in very weak parts in my experience. So I typically don't print with a cooling fan on when I'm printing ABS. Support. Um, it depends on your part. Some of them require them, some of them don't. This magazine did not require support because it was Ivan's um, DIY magazine. That was a modified file. Um, so bill plate adhesion is very important. You want to do a raft and I typically uh, like to do a air gap of 0.2 that gives me the best results and it's easy to pop off the raft once it's done printing. Um, Let's see, for, yeah, that, that's that's basically everything that I need to go over here. So print hot, don't print with a cooling fan, and print with a raft. I would also recommend using glue stick on the bed. That works very well as, uh, too. So glue stick, raft, and it should stick. I do recommend having a enclosure, so having either the Creality one, which is what I have, or getting a box and putting it over your printer, that works too. And let's move on to the next step. On your container, uh, tape the nichrome wire to the sides like this with the tape and uh, put toilet paper in the bottom of it and we'll move on to the next step. Next step is to turn on your 3D printer and heat up 
the build plate to 110 Celsius. So let me do that real quick. You can go hotter, but 110 I found works the best. So let that heat up and we'll move on to the next step. Next part is to take your part for this demonstration. I'm gonna be using this ABS AR-15 magazine. I'm gonna be making a Bakelite one. Um, hang your part with the wire and tape it to the side. And uh, you are going to be putting acetone in the bottom. You do not need a lot, just a little bit of acetone, but um, is what I would recommend. Uh, don't like dump the whole bottle, but just probably a couple milliliters of uh, acetone. You don't need a lot for this to vapor smooth, which is what we're doing in this process. It's gonna be making the surface shiny and um, it's gonna be fusing the layers together to make it stronger as well. Before we put the acetone in the um, container with the part that we're gonna be vapor smoothing, we want to make sure that this is heated up to at least 100 degrees before we do that because acetone evaporates quick and for this reaction to take place, um, this has to be at least over 100 uh, C. So uh, wait for this to hit its temperature before you put the acetone in and put the lid on top of the container. Another thing to note, make sure you take your ABS roll out of the enclosure because if anything goes wrong with your container and any acetone vapor leaks out, it will destroy the ABS and your roll and the roll will become unusable. So do not keep a, um, do not keep any filament in here just in case if anything happens to your container or if acetone spills out. You want to close the um, enclosure as well uh, because if this container is leaking you will smell acetone and it is not good stuff to breathe in so make sure that your enclosure is either closed or you're doing this in a very well ventilated area. Once your build plate is heated up and you have put acetone into your container and put the lid on you are ready to put it on the build plate and you want to leave this for about 10 to 15 minutes you will see the acetone start to turn into a vapor and uh, you'll see your part start to get shiny after 10 or 15 minutes then you can take it out and um, when you do take it out make sure you're in a well ventilated area or outside after a couple minutes the acetone is starting to turn into a vapor as you can see from it um, being condensed on the walls here and the part is starting to get slightly shiny it's sort of hard to see um, but leave it for 10 to 15 minutes or around there and uh, we'll go back to the, the bathroom and I'll show you what to do afterwards. Okay, so after it's uh, time to open it, after about 10 or 15 minutes, um, go into the bathroom and open it up. So you do not want to touch the part itself or inside of there because it is pretty hot still from the reaction going on plus the build plate being hot. So you want to open it up uh, be careful not to breathe in the fumes. So as you can see, it is very shiny. Um, mine, it only took around seven minutes or so, so results may vary depending on filament brands, what acetone you're using. Make sure not to use nail polish. That doesn't work as well in my experience. Uh, plus this stuff is very easy to get from the hardware store or anything like that. So. Uh, this is going to work. Now you want to leave this sitting for about two, maybe three hours open like this and you want to take this stuff out and you want to throw that away, uh, dispose of it probably in your toilet or something like that. So this is, uh, you want to leave it like this to dry for a little bit and we'll come back in maybe two hours or so. So once you waited and your magazine is vapor smooth and very shiny, you want to take your wood stain and a small paintbrush. Make sure to um, mess with the bristles to uh, get all the loose ones out or it will show up in your magazine itself. So you're going to want to go take your brush on the bottom and stir it around just a bit. And you want to get the excess off your brush. You don't need a lot, quite a lot of this stuff goes a very long way. 
So what you're going to want to do is very lightly start painting. Now I know that looks like a lot, but don't worry, we'll spread it out. You're going to want to start doing this to your magazine. So you want to be putting it in one continuous motion like this. So it's okay to have some dark, dark spots but you want to do one continuous motion like this grab some more from up here one continuous motion like that and you want to do this across the entire magazine so now you can put some variants in there make it more grainy so put some like this get some more from up here now you can make this as dark or as light as you want and you can put as much green or as uh, little green as you want. So I'm going to be doing a mixture of like a decent amount of green, make it more Bakelite-y. This one it looks a little darker, um, kind of like an older Bakelite style. So, but yeah, just a little bit goes a very, very long way. And you want to spread it out across the entire magazine here. Make sure to put some dark spots. So, yeah, so you want to do something like that. And I'll come back to the next step. After you finish painting all sides of your part, um, if you're wondering why I didn't really paint too much down here, that's where the locking tab is. So uh, that's not going to be sh uh, like shown. What you want to do is you want to hang it back up in the fixture now depending on where you live and the humidity levels in your area You this might take a couple days to set um, I would at least leave it for About six hours or so just to be 100% sure um, You also do not want to touch it because this stuff is very 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 sticky and also it will show up in your um, it'll show up in your part if you touch it fingerprints so keep that in mind so try not to touch it and it is also very tacky but it isn't too hard to clean off of like countertops and stuff if they're like uh, marble countertops or anything like that so just keep that in mind and I'll see you guys in the next part next step is to take your clear coat and yep and spray it we want to do an even coat and we want to do two of these coats so so just make sure that you cover up all the stuff because the um the wood stain uh, it's a bit sticky and it'll stay sticky for a couple days and if you miss any spots that spot will be tacky so yep. I meant to say um, that you want to do at least two coats and uh, you want to let it dry in between coats and then after you do those two coats I would recommend letting it sit for 24 hours and um, uh, you're pretty much done after that So we just applied the second coat. You want to wait about an hour in between coats. You could do as many coats as you want, but I typically recommend just two. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is you want to make the coats thin and also you want to make them light coats as well. Uh, that's what typically works the best. But we are complete with the process and by the end of the tutorial, your part should be looking something similar to this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, there, if you want to, uh, if you guys want to post your images of your parts that you did, I'll leave a Discord link right about here on screen and in the comment section down below and in the description. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.